Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Navigate with Colleen and Nate. We're so excited to share with you our latest episode of Navigate the Plate, where we explore the amazing food options aboard Celebrity Apex. In this video, we'll show you what we ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Eden, one of the most unique and innovative dining experiences aboard the ship. You won't believe the incredible dishes and drinks that they have to offer, and the stunning views of the ocean. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this culinary adventure with us. Good morning, navigators. So today we decided to have our breakfast in Eden. And it is gorgeous. There's quite a few options available. I went with the bacon, egg, and cheese panini, and it looks amazing. And I went with the, um, I think it's spinach, steak, and egg uh, sandwich on a bagel. So this is absolutely delicious. Got some coffee. There's also coffee and juices. So it's like really, it's a simple, more basic kind of a, Call it almost a grab and go uh, type of breakfast, but uh, definitely, and there's nobody here. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um, breakfast and lunch here, I think are only available on sea days because every day we've been at port so far, Eden has not been open for breakfast and lunch, but we're gonna enjoy this right now and tell you our thoughts. Hmm. So what do you got now, Colleen? I want a little fresh fruit. I need something a little bit lighter. Like sandwich was good, just, a little heavy, I think, so a little fresh fruit right now. How would you rank it as far as fruit goes? You can't really screw up fruit, to be quite frank. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10, so now I am digging into this delicious bear claw that I showed you before, and I actually already took a bite of it. But I have to say, the pastries on Celebrity are absolutely amazing. So you have to eat some of the bread if you're here. Like, I get it if you're like, you know, low carb diet. Do not come here and expect to stay on your low carb diet because this stuff is top notch. One more thing to note about Eden if you're having breakfast or lunch is there is a outdoor eating area. So if you'd like to have your breakfast or lunch al fresco, you can sit here and enjoy the waves. There's also the observation area in the back of Eden and that's open all day long and all night long as well too. So this is a fantastic place to enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning or an afternoon beverage and just watch the ocean drift on by. All right, navigators, we're heading to Eden for lunch. So come on along. sandwich. Sorry, pork swipe sliders. I think Hawaiian style. What did you get there, Colleen? <laughs> so I got tuna and a pita along with just a little bowl of chips, but I'm eyeing these ginormous cookies for after my lunch, but I have to partake first. How's that tuna? Classic. Very good. Very good. Where would you rate that as far as tunas go? You know, it's got a little red onion, a little tomato, a little lettuce. I, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And I've got this, uh, I went with a potato salad instead of the chips today. And I have to say, it's really good. It's got this nice Dijon mayo stuff. Uh, but this is really, really tasty. And look at these sliders, nice and warm. So I got the, as I showed you before, the pork sliders, uh, really good. Nice chunk of pork in there, a little bit of pickle, and some type of special sauce. Absolutely delicious and really hitting the spot for a kind of lighter lunch. And as Colleen's pointed out, um, with these kind of smaller portions, now we can afford to have a cookie today. So um, just me though, not, Colleen can't have a cookie. All the cookies are for me. So what are you getting here? Nice big chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, how big is it? <laughs> Ginormous. 
Wait, it's almost yep. as big as my head. <laughs> you sure you don't have two in there? Positive. And then bread. Hi, could I do um, the chocolate cake, please? I'm actually getting that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's a winner. That cake wins. Alright, so. I'm going to try, I did the uh, double chocolate, I did chocolate with a side of chocolate, which is very important when you're cruising. Make sure that you have to keep up your chocolate levels. Whoa. I'm going to try this real quick because the music just kicked in. just heard super loud music behind me. Um, that won't be typical for your lunch here, it's usually very quiet. Uh, but they're just doing a mic check right now, or a music check. So um, Eden also has a ton of shows, and we're going to show you some of those as the evening progresses here. Uh, but definitely one of the most unique spots on any ship that you'll find at sea. Uh, but again, we've had breakfast, we've had lunch, and up next is dinner. So keep it right there. All right, so navigators, we are wrapping up our Navigate the Plate series of Eden. So we have showed you our breakfast, lunch, and now we're going to be having dinner in Eden. Very excited to take you along on our three-part series of Navigate the Plate with Eden. All right. So just hold it down till four. Okay, great. So I guess the elevators are, you can just hop in them. Oh, okay. So. Well, that's convenient. Ooh, yeah, really stay away from the walls, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually used to they're always in the same direction, so I wasn't, I wasn't like ready for the door to open behind me. <laughs> yeah, like that table's fantastic. First impressions, um, it's very nice. There's multiple levels and there is ramps, although steep, that can get you to some of the higher levels. We're actually sitting right next to the kitchen, which is really cool. You get to actually see them in action. I am. There are so many amazing, like, specialty cocktails. So I think I'm going to start off with the belt. It looks like it comes in a small wooden box. So just for the presentation alone, I'm very curious. And I am going to start off with the forbidden, which is Tito's vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, and apple butter, which I've never had in a drink. But it looks like a really nice presentation, so we're going to check it out. Anyways, our waitress just came over, super energetic, went through the whole menu with us, basically told us we can get as much as we want. So I think we're going to try several appetizers, probably try a few entrees. And gosh, I guess if we have room left for dessert, we'll do dessert as well too. So looking forward to it. So what do you got there? So they delivered a amuse uh which is a ceviche that's got a little spice to it. Very excited to try it. It looks very fresh. That's going to be kicking us off before we have our appetizers. And we order appetizers. <laughs> All right, so we've just tried the mouche bouche, which I think means mouth bite in French. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but super awesome. Uh, Colleen was just saying she could eat a whole one of these. Um, it's kind of like a gazpacho. Um, that's how I would you know, consider it, but very spicy and fresh. And just my mouth is all right now. So if this is like the taste of about, about what's about to come, I think we're in for quite an evening. Oh, and we got Colleen's drink right over here. Okay. I'm sorry, we have a problem with the smoke gun. Oh, okay. There's no smoke. It's oh, no. Here. Here's a treasure box. There's no smoke inside. You pretend the smoke is there. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. Thank you. No worries. All right. Crab cake. Amazing. Are you, glad, so, are you glad that you didn't share it with me? I am very glad that we each got our own. It is loaded with blue crab, I believe from Indonesia area. It's just light and refreshing and there's no filler. It's amazing. Yeah, I think this is the some of the best food. We had good food on this ship so far, but like so far this is the best. This has been the best. This is the best. As y'all know, risotto is one of those really hard to cook type dishes. And I'll be 
honest, I am doing a little comparison. So Chef Table, I found it was a little undercooked. This is perfect. Al dente, um, just flavorful, creamy, it's very good. Yeah, and the um, ceviche is really great. That is like a frozen, like almost kind of like wasabi ice topping thing. It's amazing. But the kitchen is fantastic to sit here. Um, the chef tonight is Nikolai. He is doing a fantastic job. He's out there. It is, it is like, if you've ever seen that show, Hell's Kitchen, it's just like that. He's calling out the orders. They're saying, yes, chef. Yeah, you might be able to get a little bit of that on, on our mics. But if you come to Eden, you want to sit down here where the action's at. Don't sit up far away from the action. Get right into it. It's amazing. What do you think? That looks delicious. This looks amazing, doesn't it? Yes. And Live Canadian lobster shipped to the cruise ship. Yes. I'm assuming they flew in. They flew in on a helicopter yep. and landed it right on the helipad. Yep. The lobster. Looks delicious. Yeah, and the beef, this beef, let me tell you, it smells amazing. And I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm eating. Colleen, how is it? Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. So this has like a little bit of bacon, corn, some like a like a light cream sauce with like just little potatoes and a good amount of lobster. I'm actually getting full, but one way or another, I'm you, getting Yeah, it you're down. gonna eat all that. Oh, Yo, you got you got way more to go. I have to say the beef, the beef is amazing. And there's like this Wellington thing. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention, which is part of my problem in life in general, but um, this is so good. This is so good. Colleen and I are talking about, I think we're gonna go on to Apex again. I think um, we may have to come here multiple times because uh, this restaurant is killing it. And if you if you come here, sit down near, again, I already said this once, but also too, the other thing is that underneath by the kitchen, it's much more quiet, right? So I think that's one of the things is sometimes some of the restaurants, it can be loud. We've also heard in Eden with some of the shows, it can be very loud, but if you're down here by the uh, kitchen, it's actually pretty quiet, which is nice. I really enjoy this. So anyways, gonna get back to my beef because I don't want it to get cold. All right, Colleen, overall impressions of Eden? Hands down, best dining experience on Celebrity Apex. And probably best dining experience at sea. Phenomenal, everything from food to service to wine pairing, amazing. And I would concur with Colleen. Um, best experience uh, so far on Celebrity and at Sea. Some of the best food we've had, I think anywhere, period, would you say? Yeah. I would agree. Anywhere, period. So uh, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Navigate the Plate. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, we got a room card from Jan. Jan's the sommelier, she's great. Yeah, do you wanna be on video or? Thank you, hope you enjoy it. Thank you <laughs> uh, so anyways, we appreciate you watching. If you like this series, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with all your friends. Um, and again, if you're coming on Celebrity Apex, uh, you know, again, definitely book Eden. Um, if you want, you can buy it separately like we did ahead of time, recommended. Or if you have a dining package, make sure you book it on the first day. And I think next cruise, we might actually do this twice because it was that good. So again, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, we'll see you later, Navigators. And remember to navigate, navigate your world. world.